All right, I've uh, gone ahead and dry fit my race header. No, or I mean my uh, turbo, which is I guess this is the manifold. Um, it's still wet, and uh, the heat wrap is still drying. <coughs> and oops, oh jeez, you can see that uh, it's actually dripping still. Anyway, um, leaves a lot of room down below, which I'm sure is going to be taken up by the uh, down tube and the exhaust. And it sticks out kind of high on top of the motor there. Um, so I'm kind of interested in seeing how tight that is up against the firewall. <coughs> but uh, you can see they ship you... Oops, I'm scratching the paint up on my car. Oh, let me get down here. They ship you this. And this is set up more than likely incorrectly. Um this fuel feed line, actually this whole thing, this, 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 and this come from full race. Um, this is the stock oil pressure switch. Um, there's really not much to it. It's just a uh, little pressure switch, a little hole in the bottom there. If the pressure drops too low, uh, switch turns off and the light comes on. This is more than likely backwards. <coughs> it looks like uh, there's a fine thread machine thread over on the adapter there to go to probably NPT thread or something and then actually this is wrong this nipple more than likely goes here and the reason I say that is it looks like <coughs> this uh, feed line has a straight and a 90 degree end on it and the 90 degree end goes on the turbo at least it looks that way so I think we're going to find that it goes just like that with not the 90. Put the straight through in on the nipple there. Okay. Come on. I'm to do this while holding the phone. There we go. Got a good thread. All right. So anyway. And then that's going to run across, I'm assuming, under there. To the turbo, which will be here somewhere. Anyway, uh, I'm currently running uh, Kelford 179 Stage uh, A, Stage 1 cams. <coughs> they were great, normally aspirated cam. Hopefully they do just as well on a turbo. Uh, we'll have to see um, what the guys at the dyno can do. And they are marked green and yellow for intake and exhaust. Um, this bracket here, exceedingly close. Doesn't touch. You can see there's a gap there and uh, doesn't seem to touch. That is not a concern for me because uh, the only thing this was used for was the stock air box and there's a little wiring clip that goes here but since this is too close for the wiring anyway I'm sure this would just melt if I had the plastic piece on there <coughs> I may trim this off just to keep the heat from transferring down uh, not sure yet, I have to look see what uh, other people have done or what makes sense and I'm sure the wiring harness is going to have to move um, the exhaust gas recirculation um, valve here, no solenoid here, uh, line, which I'm going to be using, unfortunately, the wire on this for the boost controller, I believe. I think there's only one that can handle or that can drive a solenoid, one wire on the, on the K-Pro. So I'm probably just going to take this off um, <clears throat> altogether. I'm going to run a little catch can on the uh, valve cover. And then we have... I'm not sure what, oh, this is the brake booster line, I imagine. Um, and if that is the brake booster line, that's going to be right anyway. So I think this whole thing probably is going to go away. And uh, some of this, too, because I'm just going to have oil catch can. So I'm going to figure out how to route that. This may be my, uh, my water source for my turbo, the feed and return right here. That may be what that ends up becoming. Um, so, you'll have to see how that works out.